So this question starts off by providing us with a system of equations. This is a very interesting system of equations. Here we have, you know, first of all, they're both isolated for y. Here we have y equals 4x. Here we have y equals x squared minus 12. The question says a solution to the given system of equations is x comma y, where x is greater than 0. What is the value of x? So that's what we're trying to find. So anytime I have two, um, or anytime I have a system of equations, both isolated for y, what I like to do is just set each equation equal to the other. Basically what I'm saying is if y equals 4x and y equals x squared minus 12, then 4x should equal x squared minus 12, right? Because again, that's y, and so is this, y is y. Y is y, y equals y. So 4x equals x squared minus 12. Now I'm gonna subtract this 4x to bring it over to the right-hand side so that I have a trinomial here equal to zero. So I'd have zero equals x squared minus 4x minus 12. All right, now again, I'm trying to solve for, 12, for x, right? So I can factor this trinomial, let's see. So I'd have zero equals, what are two numbers that multiply to equal negative 12? but add up to negative four. Well, that would be negative six, so x minus six and plus two, right? So negative six times positive two is negative 12, and negative six plus two is negative four, okay? So that's how we factor a trinomial, especially a trinomial that does not have a coefficient in front of the x squared term. So here we have x minus six times x plus two equals zero, which means I can set each of these individually equal to zero, right? So x minus six equals zero. I can set x plus two equal to zero. And then of course, in solving for x, I get x is equal to six. And here I get x is equal to negative two. Therefore, either of those should be the correct answer. Oh, I see. No, 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 not true. It says where x is greater than zero, so be very careful. Um, and it's a good sign. If you have more than one answer, just go back and make sure that you've read everything correctly. Sometimes there are more than one, there's more than one possible answer. But in this case, we are told that x has to be greater than zero, which means we're not going to count this x equals negative two. And therefore, our answer is just that x equals positive 6. So our answer here is 6.